Okay, we're here with Tatiana. Tatiana also was successful. Her team was successful breaking out yesterday. Which habits do you feel like that you use the most during your, your group time to break out, Tatiana? Think win-win. Thinking win-win. How did you and your team use thinking win-win? Okay, now going through that breakout, did you guys always agree on the way you wanted to solve that, that task, that solution? No. So um, what, what did you do then? How did you do it when, when one team member didn't agree with it and you wanted to do something different and they wanted to do something different, what did you do? Okay, so you would try each person's um, solution and see if it worked or not. Okay. Do you feel like you did um, the way your team worked together? Did you do a lot of bucket filling? Yes. A lot of nice com compliments and comments and did you ever say to somebody, that's wrong or how dare you or what are you thinking? Did you ever say anything like that? No. So because of that, your team broke out and you stayed together, you worked together and you thought win-win. We actually also, uh, you also use another habit there called seeking first to understand because you wanted to listen to their solutions and then you tried them and then you, if they didn't work, then you guys, then, well, you adapted and you changed it to then see if you could come up with a solution again. And again, you broke out. Congratulations. Together's better, isn't it? Yeah. Did you have fun yesterday? Yes. And uh, do you feel like that it would have been as fun if you were by yourself or it was a lot more fun being in a group? All right, way to lead, kiddo. Great job. Way to use those seven habits. This is Bronson from Team Hoover's class. And so Bronson's gonna tell you about perhaps one of the, the seven habits that he used to be successful in his breakout yesterday. So first of all, Bronson, did you get the breakout? Yes. Your team broke out? Uh 
her. Kudos to you. What habit did you have to use to be successful yesterday? Synergize. Synergizing? So how did you use synergizing to, uh, yesterday? I synergized by helping my team and we figured out to, we figured out how to break the, we figured, we, we were stuck on the cards and we, and I found numbers and dots and we, there's, every card had a number and we had to put them together with their own buddy to, to break out. So did you guys all agree the entire time or did you have sometimes you didn't agree with the process of how to solve it? Well, some of my teammates didn't agree with me, and but though at the end of they they believed me. And so you never gave up. You guys kept working together. You kept trying to figure out how to solve the problem. And because you always stayed in in that solution together, and you you worked together in the group, you were able to solve that problem. That's pretty neat. So does synergizing work? Yes. Do you recommend that all teams do that when they're working together? All right, you heard it from uh, Bronson. He is recommending synergizing for all. Great job. Team Hoover and Bright have taught us that using seven habits is the best way to go. Not only by your own, yourself, but what they have proven over the last day is that together is better. So they have a special message for all of you out there in Conway. 